Welcome back. We're on our way back to our room in order to meet with Grace and Mosley. Which we said we would do at the end of this time period. So let's hope they're there. So where's Mosley? Hey guys, it's five. Thank you, O oh guardian of the clock. Okay, don't start, you two. I want to hear what happened. You mean at Chateau de Serras? You're right. The guy's probably into one of these secret societies. You should have heard him go on about alchemy, but I don't know. He seemed more bookish than anything. Mm. I say anyone who's involved with these secret societies is a big suspect. Speaking of which, Larry Chester is definitely lying. He said McDougal and Mallory just stopped by last night for directions. I couldn't get him to crack. Who's this? Chester? That's right. Interesting. I'll get started on the treasure angle. Check out the museum and church tonight. That book really got my juices flowing. So that's what it takes. <laughs> <laughs> so, are we gonna eat or what? I'm starved. Well, uh, <clears throat> actually, Grace and I had talked about catching up. That's okay, Mose. I want to stick with my research for a while. Why don't you and Gabriel go? I can wait till later if you... No, I think that's a great idea. In fact, I think we should be going right now, shouldn't we, Mose? See ya. Um, see, Grace, uh, maybe after dinner? All right. Next time period, so we're back to Grace, who indeed is going to stick with the treasure angle. And in fact, solving the mystery of the treasure is most of what we'll be doing as Grace for the remainder of this game. But that is also one of the more interesting puzzles, so that's not a bad thing. Um, first, however, we have some stuff to do on Sydney. Apparently the fingerprint for Mosley was already scanned in because it's gone. But we have some more stuff to scan. Like Montreux's fingerprint, which we got off the book. And the symbols from the ropes in Montreux's uh, attic. And finally, the Sum note. Although that's really so simple that why would you really need to um, add that to the database? It's only three letters, I think we can remember it. Okay, we see Mosley has been uh, added. And his print is already linked, so that's nice. However, uh, we also have his license plate. Which has not yet been linked, so I want to do that now. Um, we got Montreux's print. So let's link that. Um, is... Possibly a Q is an important note to remember for Montreux. Technically, I guess we can uh, link the symbols to him as well. We did find them at Chateau de Serre after all, but that does not give you points. It's not required. Vehicle ID auto. I guess he drives a car, but we don't know. We haven't seen it. We have no license plate of it, either. And finally... I guess we can link the sum note to... Uh, Baza. I'm in trouble finding him. Again, this is an entire 
completely uh, optional thing to do. It does not give you points. Okay, now um, let's start with the with um, let's start with the symbols actually. We're going to use the analyze option, which we haven't used before. So we get the symbols out of our files and start analyzing. Data recognized as symbols. Yeah, we that much we already knew. Symbols not in Sydney database. We'll conduct search of offline databases and return results via email if matches found. This thing really is quite advanced, isn't it? Okay, well, we don't know what it is yet, but we should be told later. Hopefully, maybe, perhaps. Um, next up, I want to look at the note. It could be that he was doing sums, mathematics, but um, if you paid attention to what was being said by Madeline when um, Baza was writing this, or if you probably already know this, maybe, um, recognize the word at least, you might know that it is Latin. Well, even if you didn't figure that out yet, it's um, one in three possibilities, and it's obviously not English. So that's fairly easy to figure out. When we can translate it from Latin, sum equals verb to be in first person form, I am equals ego sum. Again, that should sound familiar. But in case you haven't figured it out, uh, I'll leave it at that. Though I fully expect that you have, I certainly had by this point. I, pro I think I probably figured this out at the moment as I wrote this when I first played this game. Because it is fairly obvious. Okay, um, we have some other stuff to analyze. The stuff that Gabriel scanned earlier, the parchments. Well, there's also the map, but right now we want to do uh, the parchments. That we found in Lady Howard and Estelle's room. And when we analyze that, Sydney tells us that the text appears to have irregularities in design. See extract anomalies. And also that there is hidden geometry present in the image. See view geometry. So it just tells us which options become available here, and then we can use them. Message inserted in text is indicated by the letters raised above the text line. You can actually see that if you pay attention to the to the text that some of the letters are above the baseline of the text. Letters are... well, all bunch of stuff. Need suggested language to analyze potential bricks. Suggested language. Let's see if we can recognize something in this. Etc. So est-il la mort? So I guess that's French. Wow. There's a hidden message in the text. Okay. And it is Adagobert toi uh roi et uh sion as trésor et il est la mort. Translation from French to English to Dagobert the second king. And the scion is this treasure, and he or it is there dead. Hmm. That is peculiar. What could that mean? Oh, let's check the geometry. Device in upper left corner, the plus symbol on line 4, and the text break on line 14 suggest this image. Confirmed by right base of N on line 14. The shape has been saved. Frankly, you can find almost any shape in any text if you just look hard enough, so I find this somewhat dubious. But it seems to be relevant. Okay, we have another parchment. Text needs to be analyzed further. See analyze text. Hidden geometry is present in the image. See view geometry. Symbolic device may be rotatable. See rotate shape. 
There's no raised letters here, so I wonder what it will make of the text. Text appears to be in Greek. We'll check research databanks for match. Checking remote host at University of Heidelberg. Text match found. Downloading. Text matches verse from Greek New Testament with additional letters inserted. That's a pretty impressive fuzzy search I did there. Additional letters are... A whole bunch of stuff again. Need suggested language to analyze potential language breaks. Suggested language... Repas de tension que pour s'entenir... It looks like it could be French again. Shepherdess no temptation that Poussin Teniers hold the key. Peace, 681, by the cross and this horse of God, I complete this demon guardian at midday. Or to the meridian, blue apples. I think I'll write that cipher down. Blue apples? Isn't that what the old lady at the Chateau de Serre was uh, yelling about? Pomme bleu? What could the connection be? In any case, I have no idea what this could mean at this point in time and space. I don't know why I said that. And finally... No, wait, we have two things left, so not finally. View geometry gives us a tilted square with a circle in it. Analysis of geometry. Devices at top and bottom of page contain diagonals, which indicate lines. The position of the top and bottom devices in their diagonals form a perfect square. Circle in the star devices at top and bottom of page indicate the presence of a circle. It lines up best with the text in the indicated position. The shapes have been saved. Okay, and finally we can rotate shape, which actually does not refer to this shape, but to this symbol that was already on the page. Scion. These parchments must be linked to the Priory somehow. That's just this shape upside down. It's pretty obvious, I think. Symbols recognized in new orientation. So, something to do with the Scion. Priory of Scion. Hmm. Peculiar, that's for sure. Okay. That's it for now. Well, uh, Grace said she would check out the church and the museum. So I guess we should go and do that. Actually, I kind of already did the whole checking out uh, the... Um, uh, church thing. Because I, the only f thing you really need to do there is pick up the... Um, Um, the pamphlet. And also notice the square in the angels, which I've already done. It looks like somebody had room service and left it outside. Ah, the British gals have been eating again. And we can apparently pick up their glass. Looks like a glass to me. Very insightful. Can we... Hmm. No, I don't see any sign of prints. Apparently not. We also wrote down this cipher from the parchment. That's the blue apple cipher that Sydney found in one of the Saunier parchments. I'm not sure what to make of it at the moment, but I have a feeling I'll be coming back to it eventually. And, um, she's not wrong. What's this? I got some Deutschmarks converted to oh, francs at the airport. That's her wallet. I just didn't recognize it. It's kind of a weird look for a wallet, I think. And the book that she's been reading. I wonder who could have left this for us, and why? Good questions that in time we may find the answer to. Okay, um, let's see. Grace hasn't talked to Simone yet, I think. 
Good evening, Mademoiselle Nakimura. Jean told me you are staying in room 25 with Monsieur Knight. I bet he did. I am uh, Simone, Mademoiselle. I hope you will enjoy your visit. <laughs> Thanks. Have you seen anything, um, oh, I don't know, uh, curious around town lately? Ah, oui, mademoiselle. What? Someone has bought a chicken. It is making my mother crazy, this chicken. It comes to the garden, it eats her seeds. I do not know who is the owner of this chicken, but I know my mother. This chicken will be in the soup pot one night. Oh, well, it happens to the best of us. That is not entirely what we meant. Or it is entirely not what we meant, depending on your perspective. Do you know anything about the treasure, Simone? Well, I have seen many treasure seekers come and go, mademoiselle, but I have never thought much of the idea myself. But there is a museum if... Yeah, I know. Thanks anyway. Okay. Uh, before we head out, let's see if anything's happening in the dining room, as it often is. What do you care anyway? You said you weren't interested. I'm not. That doesn't mean I care to watch you belly up to the trough. Besides, you're just setting yourself up for a fall. Gracie doesn't like you that way. Oh? And what kind of guy would she like? I don't know. Younger, maybe? Good looking? A nice guy? She deserves a nice guy. Which explains her alleged attraction to you. Oh, that's purely chemical. Poor kid. See, I've got this pheromone thing going on. Yeah, I tried not bathing myself once, but my co-workers got a little upset about it. Oh, ha, ha, ha. You never could stand my success with women. No, it was how you screwed with women that I couldn't stand. Ah, back off, Lancelot. Yeah, I guess we better talk about something else before I get worked up. Hello, boys. Oh, uh, Madeline. Hey. Oh, you are already dining. How disappointing. I was hoping to spend some time with you. And especially with you, Gabriel. Well, we can make room. But I must change. The night is just beginning. Will I see you when I come down? Wouldn't miss it. Sure. Then I will be extra quick. A bientôt. Man, is she hot for you! Whew! Where'd that come from? Pheromones. Christ. You gonna go for it? Why not? Sex worked for Bond. But Grace is in your room. Yeah, what did I tell you? Having her around is like wearing a freaking chastity belt. But Madeline doesn't have a roommate. <laughs> well, go for it, I guess. Okay, poor Grace. Sounds like Mosley's interested in Grace, though. I have a uh, feeling that's not going to be entirely mutual. Hey, at least he's less of a pig than Gabriel. Can I try and talk to the two? Well, Mosley always did have a thing for me. Guess I've been pretty insensitive about it. Of course, I've learned from a pro. Mosley always had a thing for Grace? I never noticed. Certainly not something that we that was uh, noticeable in the first game. I, I just don't want to talk to either one of them. Well, can't say I blame you. Bukeli is also here. Bukeli is dining early. And we can talk to him. Good evening, Signore Bukeli. And to you, Miss Nakimura. Have you quite recovered from this afternoon? See, with a little help from the vine. <laughs> um, I guess alcohol works if you want to drown your sorrows. It's right, he is dining early. Considering this is Franz, and usual dinner time there is more around eight. And it's only five. Or five-ish. Well, technically we only know it's between five and ten. So it could be eight. Unlikely that three hours have passed since the start of this time block, but whatever. Um, I don't think we have anything else to say to him. No. 
Does Grace have anything to say about the food? Well, it's not exactly full service, but the food smells good. I think she's being more kind about it than uh, Gabriel was. Okay. Let's go and check out the town, and particularly the museum. Hopefully it's open. Um... Wait, is there something on the door? Oh, they close at five. I better hurry. Let's see. Ugh, they're closed. Shoot! They're closed, but there was definitely something on the door. We'll have to find out what that is in the next video.